Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can take an image and put it inside the bounds of text, as you see here, inside of GIMP. So the first thing we're going to do here is go to File, New, and create a new image document. It can be whatever size you want. And with this new document, what we're going to want to do is drag an image from our computer into GIMP. So I'm just going to drag this straight onto our new GIMP document, and we're going to have this image to work with. For now, I'm going to disable the visibility of it in the Layers panel by clicking on the eyeball over here. And we're going to create text for that image to conform to. So here I already have my font and size set up. Babis Nui, 800 pixel, or 800 font size, sorry, that's different than pixels. Um, which will allow us to type in something like this. If I center this text, it's still a little bit big, so I'm actually going to take this text and lower it down to 600. And let's reposition it where we want uh, the text to basically be. So now with this text layer, what we want to do is right click it and do alpha 2 selection. What that's going to do is wherever there's text, it's going to draw a selection around the text elements. So what we can do with that selection is go onto this image layer, right click it, and add a layer mask. Uh, make sure it's initialized layer mask to lack full transparency, which means it's going to start completely invisible. But if we click on the layer mask now, and with the selection from the text, we use the bucket fill tool, we can simply take a white bucket fill, paste over this uh, selection area, and what's going to happen is the layer mask is now going to perfectly conform to the text we already created. So now when we disable this text layer or move it below the image and enable the image layer, we're going to have the image showing through only on the areas where that text conforms to. Now to get the same effect I had at the beginning, we can also add on a stroke as an extra. Technically we're done, but if we want that stroke, we can right click on the image layer, go to mask to selection if it's not already selected. And uh, I would recommend actually doing this on a new layer. So I'm going to add a new layer here. And with the selection still there, right click, go to edit, stroke selection, and stroke it with whatever color you want. That's going to be a foreground color selected over here in the toolbox and the line width you want. I'm going to do 12 pixels here, stroke it, and you get a white border on all of the text. So that's how you take an image and have it conform to text within GIMP. I hope you guys found this video useful and interesting. And I will see you guys in my future video content.